at a beautiful model home at Tamarack Homes uh, here in Finley Creek. The Tamarack Homes Ottawa Race Weekend is coming up. Uh, John Halverson here. We're talking about diet today. What's the number one question you get from runners? Uh, most people ask me what's the best food for recovery. And I think we should turn that over to Beth Mansfield, who works with uh, Peak Performance. When you deal with elite runners right down to recreational runners, what's the answer to that question? Key things. You got to rest up. You got to recover with enough fluid and you got to eat carbohydrate and protein rich foods. So key carbohydrate rich foods, things like legumes, bean salads, your different types of grains and cereals such as bagels, barley, quinoa, rice, pasta, fruits, fantastic because they're also rich in antioxidants which help you recover okay. and vegetables. And vegetables are actually a carb protein combination. People don't think about vegetables being a source of protein, but they are hmm. along with things like milk products, in particular, a little superstar Greek yogurt, double the amount of protein, chock full of carbohydrate and other great nutrients like calcium, fantastic for your health, and over on the right, fatty fish and omega-3 eggs. So that type of fat, the omega-3, is one that really helps counter the inflammation post-work and really helps recovery. So on your toughest day this week, okay. longest run, hardest run, get some omega-3 fat in, eat some fatty fish, eat some egg eggs. I think um, I'm surprised to see these guys here too. Potatoes. Carbohydrate rich, fantastic fuel, also can use them during your run. Little small white potatoes boiled, pop them in your mouth, they start to turn into sugar right away. They can keep that blood sugar topped up so you don't feel that, oh God, this is hard. I right. Have stuff so almost a recovery while you're running. That's you get it. a little pop back in. That's right. Uh, and uh, I guess so, my, you know, uh, after workout brownie probably. Uh, is not a recovery. Well, it is because it's got two cups of sugar and a whole brownie recipe, so it's good, but it's also <laughs> energy dense, right? Lots of calories from fat mm, as well. Okay. The other thing you might want to think about recovery is caffeine helps. Caffeine in the form of like a latte pushes that milk sugar back into mm. your muscle cells and helps you recover yeah. well. I didn't know that either. Yeah. That's uh, some fantastic information. Uh, just so you know, uh, is this what I would have to lay out before every run or do I want to just make sure I try and cover some of this? You probably want to cover some of this, but some of the key things are get some long, slow release of energy. These types of salads here made out of barley and quinoa with vegetables and fruit in them. That's probably a great way to get your going for a run. What kind of results do you see from runners who are eating, who change their diet habits? They often lose extra body fat and that helps them run faster. Okay, there you have it. Running faster, that's what it's all about, John. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, right in the, the thick of the training, most people are getting ready for Tamarack Homes Ottawa Race Weekend. Thank you, Beth, for a great awesome. information here as we uh, get closer and closer, too close to the event, if you ask me so far. Well, we're getting really close, yes. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hope you're out there and training well and eating well, too.